Organizing comes from this sense of having a place for everything, being decluttered, periodically go through and cleanse. When it comes to organizing your life is make sure that things are put in a certain way, in a certain place that maximizes the storage you have. Every few months or so, I start going through my things and I throw stuff away. You just have to get rid of it. If you don't get rid of the stuff that you don't use, you're never gonna have room for things that matter to you. So make sure you go through and cancel out, throw away the stuff that you don't need. That's where it begins. Welcome back to my mommy's life channel where I share with you guys my journey. So first time mom, dentist, and business owner. If you guys are new to this channel, big welcome. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you never miss when I post a new video. In today's video, I want to share with you guys a big aspect of my life so that hopefully you guys will have a little bit more zen, a little bit more calm, and a little bit more time with your family at the end of a really busy day. And what is this? It's a huge subject, but it's something that we don't focus on and we don't spend enough time on. And that is organizing, organizing your life, organizing your home. And I think in the past, we've talked a little about, about organizing your life. You know, that's all about time management, planning out your day, figuring out what is it that is most important to you and sticking to that so that you can get the most out of those 24 hours. At the end of the day, we all have 24 hours, it's how we utilize it. So in today's video, it's a little segue off of that, and this is about the physical things. How to physically organize your life, your home, so that you can have some peace. I don't know how many of you guys out there are like me. However, I know a good amount of you guys are, so I know that not every one of you guys will think I'm crazy, but hopefully after this video and you guys start adapting some of this, you'll also come to embrace it and love it. I think that this is a huge topic. Uh, so we'll just kind of basically scratch the surface a little bit today. Um, but what is organizing about? Organizing comes from this sense of having a place for everything, being decluttered because I grew up I remember very vividly I think this is probably where it first started my third grade teacher would tell us a cluttered desk is a cluttered mind and that just really stuck with me and I used it till this day and so I'm all about declutter and it's not just about throwing things away I think that's a huge part of it but there's a system to it so I think one of the biggest things that I make time for is every few months or so, I start going through my things and I throw stuff away. You just have to get rid of it. If you don't get rid of the stuff that you don't use, you're never gonna have room for things that matter to you. So make sure you go through and cancel out, throw away the stuff that you don't need. That's where it begins. It's like all those like little receipt papers. Do you, what, how often do you actually go back and look at a receipt? If you've gone through the month, you've checked your statement, everything is accurate. If you've worn that sweater three times and you're not going to take it back, throw away that receipt. Well, recycle. That's a huge part of my life also. Is, you know, we got to make sure that we are eco-friendly. So recycle your paper and throw away things that you don't need. So clothes that you haven't worn in a year instruments, tools, things that kitchen utensils that you don't use that you have, you don't even remember you had until I told you to go through it in this video. So if you don't use it, get rid of it and keep a very, very small amount. I know we are all attached to certain things, those sentimental things, and it's okay. You can have some of that stuff, but contain it to a certain area and try not to just have it everywhere. Okay. So that's the first part of how I organize my life is to periodically go through and cleanse. I call it the purge. My husband knows when I come through and I say I'm purging, he's like, oh, great. <laughs> but I love it. That feeling of throwing things that I don't need away. It's so great, especially when it comes to the 
pantry. There's so many things in there that, you know, you kind of forget because I think pantries in most households, it's not set up very well. And so a lot of times you just end up shoving stuff and stuff just like gets to the back and you never know it's there. I mean, like that piece of chocolate or that package of chocolate that's been there for two years, it's not going to taste great anyway. So get rid of it. The second pointer when it comes to organizing your life is make sure that things are put in a certain way, in a certain place that maximizes the storage you have. Because I think that's a thing that we run into, especially with Caitlin. We're always getting new toys and stuff like that. And things just start to take over the house because there's no place for it. So always make sure that you have a place for certain things. This is your system, right? If you have to have a place for it, and it goes back there every time. So having little containers and everything that will help you manage those items is really helpful. And uh, making sure that, okay, it acts, containers act in two different ways, okay? So one is to make sure stuff doesn't just spill out. That's the other thing that I've run into in our house is a lot of our shelving, especially the pantry, the laundry closet, um, hallway closets, they have these like open shelvings. And so a lot of times stuff will kind of fall and they don't really stand very well in those areas. So contain your items, get bins, covered stackable bins are great because then you can have, you know, utilize vertical space. I think that's the other part that a lot of times people will um, miss is we don't adequately use your vertical space, especially when you're in an apartment, a small house with not a lot of storage. Vertical space is critical. So make sure that you have a method to contain those things and not only contain it, but label it. You got to label it because so many times this happens in our office as well. People will just put things in random place and not put it back where it came from. So having it labeled so everybody knows this is where it goes and you need to make sure it goes back in there. That way you can also make sure that you're able to find it the next time. Um, so part two to having bins and having something contained is that it forces you, okay, all the things that are in here, that's all I'm allowed to have. Okay. If you have tea towels that no longer fit in this bin, probably time for you to get rid of some. You don't need 20 tea towels, okay? Or kitchen rags. You don't need that many. I promise you, you don't. So make sure you abide by that amount that you're comfortable with, okay? I'm okay with you having multiples of certain things, but making sure that this is the space that you have and that your home allows for and stick to that. The other part of organizing is I think too many times people take on too many areas at once and then they get overwhelmed and then they give up. So that's my third tip when it comes to home organizing is making sure that you tackle a small project at once. Just focus your attention all on that one project, okay? So that way you don't get frustrated, you get overwhelmed, and then you're just like, ah, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. And it doesn't get done. Okay. So I hope you guys take some time to look around your house, pick a project, pick your closet, closet and pantry. Those are the two biggest things that people, I think a lot of times will forget and they have a lot of stuff that they don't utilize and they're not utilizing their space effectively, especially in places that are smaller. You don't have a lot of space. So take some time to do that. Cause I promise you when you're done, when you've purged, when you've organized your goods in your home, you're going to feel a sense of peace. When there's clutter, you mentally, psychologically are already going to be more stressed. And let's face it, at, an, at the end of a day, you know, or at the morning when it's early in the morning and you're trying to find that outfit, going into a messy closet where you can barely walk through and there's just clothes on the ground. It's not inviting. It doesn't set the tone for the day. And so you need to make sure that when you walk into that closet, it's a moment of Zen for you. You know that, okay, my shirts are here. My clothes are here. It's just very clean. It's organized. It's not cluttered. And I promise you, it'll put you in a better mood. And when things are organized, and kept a certain way, you're gonna be spending less time looking for things. You won't have anxiety walking to the kitchen because you're like, where did you put that thing? I told you that, blah, 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 blah. And I think your household dynamic will also improve. So I hope you guys find this video useful. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.